Hey everyone, Nate here. Today I'll be showing you how to easily convert XPS models into OBJ and import them into Blender or Cinema 4D. You need the program XNA Lara for this, and it's very important that you download this beforehand. There will be a tutorial in the middle of the video somewhere, so you can just do it later. This technique is very useful for finding models you can't usually find on Roblox, so you want to look up some XPS models of characters you want to find. XPS mods are very useful because when you put them from XPS Lara, the OBJ already comes with all the meshes separated. Therefore, there's no finicky mesh separating. There was never any good Black Clover meshes, so let's see if there's now. Oh my! Alright, for this video, I've already fought a base form Goku, so let's just go for it. Here's a bunch of Goku models and stuff, so let's go to this, and you can see it's Ultra Instinct Goku, right here. And, um, but I've already got the page open in the background, so let's just go to him. There's a bunch of Goku models right there, and you can just press the download model if it's from DeviantArt. Just find the download link, and you can just pretty much put it in there, and then extract it like so. If you don't have an archiving program already, I recommend getting 7-zip or WinRAR. Do not get anything else. After extracting your meshes and textures, you can go find the XPS and .mesh files. If you haven't installed XPS Lara already, then go do so now. The link will be in the description and the instructions are so. You need to install the prerequisites and click that right there. And after you click it, it should start downloading. Open XPS Lara and drag your .mesh or XPS file into it, and it should look like this. If any weird meshes or stuff on it, then you can just disable it using optional items, or when you export it, it you can just delete it in Cinema 4D or Blender. And there you go, I used the optional items to get rid of the extra meshes, and now I'm going to export it. Go to Modify, and Export as OBJ. You want to uncheck Textures and click OK. You will be asked where you want to direct all your OBJ files to, so just select and we'll move on to Symbol 3D. Alright, now that Cinema 4D is started up, you can either merge or open your OBJ file. Just go ahead and locate your file, I'm just going to do it really quickly, and you want to import it at default settings, or whatever settings work for you. If you're having trouble finding a mesh, it's just probably because it's too small, so you can just size it up using the scale tool. And this is just Cinema 4D, if it's, you're in Blender, you can do it your own way, you know? start scaling up we can slightly see the silhouette of Goku T's posing but he doesn't really have any textures does he you can see that you have a full-fledged Goku model but you don't need all the models you only need the hair model right here now that you've deleted everything but the hair mesh then you can go easily just click the texture tag right there it will highlight what the texture is and you can go find it. Then click the dot dot dots to locate where the texture is for the hair mesh on your file and it should be in the same folder as where you got the XPS file. Now that you got your texture imported, I'm just gonna click render to make sure that it's properly imported and it's good. For East, I'm just gonna rename it so that you can easily see what's going on. All these other textures aren't really needed so you can go and delete them and your hair mesh texture will still be fine. You can go merge in your rig now using the file, merge, and then find where your rig is. But I'm just gonna do my fast way and just merge in my silly rig right here. 
All right, now that the rig is loaded in, you can go ahead and resize your hair mesh and rotate it so that it's right in the right position facing forward. If you see your axis handles are in the wrong position or something in Cinema 4D, then you can just right click, click Customize Palettes, and search up Axis Center. After you click that, click Execute and ensure both everything is at zero and it'll center right in the middle of the object so you can resize for ease. Now the rest of this video is just going to be me um, going through it quickly, just resizing and putting it on, and eventually I'm going to put on a texture that I've already have on my computer, so yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, I hope this helped. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Um, I don't monetize my video so because I really think that you guys take more advantage of this than I should. Thanks for watching to the end and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching, my name's Nate, see ya. Nico, Nico, Nico.